So hi dear Cancerian, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the 21st of November. Uh, sorry, this is a reading from 11 till the 21st of November. But you can count it from, uh, count it from today also. It's uh, not a big deal. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are... Let's see Cancer, your partner's current feelings for you right now are O oh, star, okay, and the devil, whoops. This person feels like healing this devil energy, this control issues, this addiction, this toxicity, this uh, codependency kind of feeling from, for feeling within this connection, within this relationship. For some of you, this is a third party situation might be, and this person feels like healing the situation between you and them. Okay, this is someone who feels, who definitely feels a soul tie with you, a soul connection with you. Even if they are dealing with somebody else also, they feel a very strong connection with you also. And they are very hopeful and positive about the future of this connection. Let me clarify the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles and Death card. See this, <laughs> this person feels like getting married to you and they feel like they can't wait anymore. What? This person feels like having a very stable and solid committed kind of relationship with you and they feel like they can't wait any longer. They are getting very, very impatient. Okay. See, this person is very, very hopeful and positive about uh, the future of this relationship that uh, they feel like this. They feel like uh, you guys uh, should get married. They feel like they, they should tell you something and they should not wait any longer. Okay, and for some of you, it's for some of you, it's like this person is getting married to somebody else and they feel like they should tell you this because they should not wait any longer to tell you this. Even if they are getting married to somebody else, they feel a very strong soul connection with you, a soulmate kind of connection with you. You know, this is someone who is waiting for you or you are waiting for this someone. I don't know, but this is very difficult to read now. So they definitely feel like having a future, having a stable committed kind of future with you and they feel like they should end this wait and they should tell you that they feel like this. Okay, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Let's see what do you feel about this person or about this situation right now, Cancer. Four of Pentacles, you're holding back and the moon in reverse is like... You got to know something about this person or situation. You got to know some kind of secret or something about this person or about this situation. And you feel like you should hold back. You should not say anything about them. Or you should not reveal any, any kind of feeling towards them. You should not say anything. Whatever you got to know, you feel like keeping this to them. Keeping them, keeping this to yourself only. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's clarify it. As your feelings are holding back a lot of things. A lot of feelings from this person. You're like... Keeping things to yourself is the only solution. Let's clarify the four of pentacles. Six of pentacles, five of pentacles, king of pentacles. Lots of pentacles. I feel like for some of you it's about money. There is uh, money involved in this situation. For others of you, you, you feel like bringing balance to your life, to this situation. Because you feel like this person abandoned you, back, backstabbed you, betrayed you. And now you want to heal your energies. Okay? You feel like bringing balance to the situation. For some of you, you just want to balance your life. You feel like you are coming out of a phase where this person left you hanging on the wall, uh, you know, and this person uh, abandoned you, betrayed you, backstabbed you, did something really wrong with you. And now you feel like healing your energies. By keeping your things to yourself, you feel like healing your energy, you feel like you healing your life and making yourself very, very stable financially, okay? Financially independent and uh, very very stable inside out. This is what you feel. I feel this is not about this relationship or this connection or this love life situation. This is about your personal life going on towards stability. Because you are feeling abundant and abundant. Abandoned. Abundant. Okay. Uh, whatever. So you feel like this person did really really bad with you something in the past. And now you are just focusing on yourself. On your shit only. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Let's see what this person wants from you, Cancer. Three of Pentacles and Page of Swords. This person wants to have communication with you regarding this teamwork, team efforts. 
I feel like this person wants to put in the effort and energy, teamwork. They want teamwork and team efforts from your side also to make things work out between you and them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. I feel uh, cancer, lots of you are going through a lot of materialistic thing, materialistic shit right now, financial shit right now and you are focused on that part. This person, however, is focused on you because you are not focused on them right now. What the hell? Yeah. Six of Cups and Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah. This person definitely wants to have a reconciliation with you. This person wants to heal the burdensome situation between you and them. But they want equal give and take of energy from your side also. They want you to put in the effort and energy. And they want themselves also to put in the effort and energy in this connection. To make this connection as it used to be in the past. As beautiful as a soul kind of connection. As sweet and uh, as simple as it used to be in the past cancer Pisces, scorpio energy aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius they definitely want to remove the burdensome situation between you and them and heal the connection they want to manifest this connection with you manifest this reconciliation with you coming back together with you okay gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius cancer Pisces, scorpio every sign is there actually let's see what do you want from this person or from this situation right now cancer Two of Wands, you want to wait for some kind of action from this person's side. You, just, you, have, you want to decide for the future as per the actions that they are going to take regarding the situation between you and them. You want to wait for the right time. You want to wait for the right action from this person's side. It is the Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Two of Wands. Justice, the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Yes. Okay. You want to do justice with the situation by remaining silent and waiting for some kind of action from this person's side. You are like, I am not going to do anything about the situation. I am not going to take any kind of action. I am going to just silently wait for the right time or wait for the action from this person's side. Because I have done everything that I could. And now I am in this mode of just waiting and working on my own shit. You know, and not giving a shit to this person whether they are coming or not. So you are not deliberately waiting like a fool or you are not just waiting for this person to come and uh, do something about your situation or about your life. You are just doing your own, own stuff and simultaneously you have decided to wait for this person's action and as per the action that they are going to take towards the situation, you are going to decide what you are going to do about it. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Aries, the Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what is the outcome of this situation or what's coming towards you till the 21st of November. Or you can say what action they are going to take towards you till the 21st of November. Hierophant. Okay. Five of Cups. Somebody is coming, coming towards you with a lot of regret and with a lot of pain in their heart. Okay, somebody coming towards you with a soul kind of energy soulmate kind of energy i feel like for some of you this person is going to propose you for marriage or at least they're going to give you some hints taurus energy let's clarify the hierophant so the action is the hierophant let's clarify the hierophant page of swords ace of pentacles sun see this person is going to offer you a lot of happiness this person is going to offer you brand new beginning and this brand new beginning is going to bring a lot of happiness and this brand new beginning could lead to some kind of serious committed kind of relationship and or a marriage or a marriage proposal soon in the near future. But right now what I do see is the action that they are going to take towards you is out of the blue you can say suddenly they are going to offer you something, offer you a brand new beginning, offer you a love offer and offer you happiness, lots of happiness actually because they feel like you are the right match for them. So this is the action that they are going to take towards you by the 21st of November. Hmm. So you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and sorry, you could be dealing with the Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Got it. It's very good for you. Wow. So the action they are going to take towards you is going to surprise you with lots of happiness. Let's see what's the guidance for you. Cancer. Three of Wands and the Lovers and the Knight of Wands. You should wait and you should that's what you're doing already so i feel like you should wait for your ships to arrive and you should decide as per the actions that they are going to take towards you as per the actions of this per, uh, this another person 
okay even uh, even if they are coming towards you with lot of love or with lot of um, beautiful energy of passion and all this you have to take a step back and you have to decide and you should not take any kind of action actually cancer you should just wait for the right time that that this person is going to come forward towards you then you should decide as per the action that they are going to take towards you this is up to you now the ball is in your court what you going to do about it it's up to you now so uh aries leo sagittarius gemini and aries leo sagittarius uh, sagittarius lots of oil you know fire energy so thank you so much for tuning in honey i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste